Hello everybody, today on the table I've got this huge power supply for servers. I've put it through the isolating transformer and when I turn it on the lamp always stays on. That's how it was connected, but it's not the point. The point is that this is really huge power supply. I've never seen anything like this. There was some modification made by somebody. The guy who brought it to me said it was working fine, was starting with this button, but one day it start, stopped to work. There is, I don't know, 43 V, 1799 probably, the marking, or maybe not. This is really huge, I suppose it's about 3 kilowatts or maybe even more power supply and pack. So I don't know if the lamp stays on, probably we've got a shirt at the input or maybe something else I don't know maybe the lamp stays on because there is something else okay I think it would be interesting to see the insides of this monster I'm gonna remove all the screws and see what we what do we get inside? Okay. By the way, I want you to compare the size. So this is power supply to 2,400 watts for mining as well. And you see it starts from here. And you see the difference in, in wideness, in height. So probably it's even... I don't know, maybe four, four thousand. The filter, there is actually no components to fail, only some baristers, they were fine. So let's try now, connect it directly here and try to turn it on. The lamp blinked and then stopped blinking probably capacitors are charged but when I tried to connect filter alone it was some glowing probably because there were lots of reactive components like inductors capacitors and that's why it was like this Okay, let's try to push the button and nothing happens. Lamp is not starting to glow and there is no life at all. So I've got to proceed to disassemble it. By setting the board I've noticed two more fuses one here and one here. Tested them, these were good. And I proceed with studying it, study, study, and also I've noticed that here you cannot see it. You can see it probably no. There is here the brown one, and it is also a fuse. It is also a fuse, and it seems like this is the one. When we try to test it. 
So it goes this line, and that's the fuse. And it seems like it's blown because there is some cover. I always do it like this in order to test it properly. But this is not showing anything. So I will try to remove it and see. Of course, fuses are not blowing usually. Just for nothing, probably there is a fault somewhere. But sometimes they just blow. So let's try to remove it and see. And I and I hear relay is clicking, which is a good sign actually. Probably my 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 transformer is not enough to, to power it on. Now I'm gonna bypass the lamp and see how it's gonna behave with this whether it's st starts or not by the way also I forgot to turn it on let's see now now it started clicking I turn it on and no change okay let's bypass the lamp now I bypass the lamp probably my Transformer is not gonna even power it on, but let's try. And the same. Okay, now probably I will try to do it with mains just for fun. But it's dangerous fun and I don't recommend to use it at home. Okay, now I connected it directly from the mains and let's see, is it gonna blow or no? Turn it on. Okay, relay clicked once. That's a good sign. 
let's see and it is working that's insane it's working so that was the only problem that's cool let's see the output very carefully because we've got mains we've got mains okay I'm, I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want to to blow something Just try to to use like this. Okay, turn the mains. Let's see it now. Without anything and here's some voltage left and let's see now and we've got 12 volts So this one's fixed. That's cool. I wasn't hoping for this. I told the guy that this power supplies are really difficult to to fix because there are lots of brains, controllers, PM bus. It's really quite high-tech power supply not like from PC this is really cool so 12 volts on the output and I think it's more as I told more than 3 kilowatts of power okay now I'm gonna disassemble everything back try it with the filter just to make sure and I hope everything gonna be fine but before I put everything back, in order to save the world from complaints, like one famous repair guy told once, we've got to replace the fuse to put a proper one. Actually, the wire is, would do the same job, but everyone would complain. So I don't have exactly this type, but it doesn't really matter. I've got this one, 1 amp, 250 volts, the same for the rating. So I'm gonna put it here, maybe put some shrinking tube on it, that should be fine.
put everything back at the output I've got multimeter and 65 watts 12 volts light bulb just for checking some load of course it's not a load for this huge monstrous power supply I've checked the marking and you can see it on the screen it's actually not 4 kilowatts it's about 3 kilowatts and the price for the used one on eBay 200 250 dollars something like this not the cheapest one but I think it's worse this monster with that price okay now I've connected it to the mains through here let's try to power it on and well folks let's try to connect and just easily problem <laughs> this light bulb is just a joke for this okay we saved it it was an easy one I didn't expect that it would be like this and that's it for today I hope you like it see you next time goodbye